Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Pudinesca. Alright, I'm starting out here on a large skillet. I have it down on a low heat and I'm going to add in one cup of olive oil. And I know that does seem like a lot of oil, but that's what it calls for. And I hope I'm pronouncing this right, call it Pudinista. I know someone will correct me, but I'm doing my best. Now I'm going to put in, this calls for six cloves of garlic, but I'm going to use the pre-chopped stuff. So I'm going to guess this, make that two, four, six cloves of garlic, which is about a little under a uh, full tablespoon of each, so three tablespoons. I'm going to cook this over low heat until that garlic gets golden brown and my oil is warming up. So this will help infuse this oil with that garlic flavor also as it cooks. Right now that my garlic's golden brown and toasty, I'm going to add in two 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. Now if you want to do fresh tomatoes, you could do that, but that's a lot of work. You would have to chop them up fine and smash them through a sieve. I'd just assume do it this way, it's easier. Alright. that around. Okay. Now I have a six ounce can of tomato paste. I'm going to put about half of that in, about three ounces. Then I have some spaghetti going over here. That's going to be our pasta for this. I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit. I let this cook for a few minutes so let the tomatoes and oil and tomato paste incorporate together. And once this gets cooking, I'll be back. Right now that my sauce and olive oil mixture is starting to heat up, I'm going to season it. Now this here wasn't in the recipe, I'm going to add it anyways. I'm going to add a teaspoon of oregano, and I need to turn this down because it's going to start spitting. So just a stir. I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of basil, or I'm sorry, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And the original recipe calls for anchovies, which I'm not using them because I think they're gross. And I'm going to add in a teaspoon of red crushed pepper flakes. And this will give it a little bit of a kick. Alright. Just a stir. And you want to keep your heat low unless you want your kitchen decorated. Alright. Now I'm going to add in a little over a quarter of a cup of drained capers. And for those of you who don't know who capers or don't know what capers, not who capers are, they're like a little flower bud that hasn't bloomed yet. And I believe they're from a the cactus, so I'm not sure about that, but another flower bud. Now also to that I'm gonna add in 40 Greek olives that I've course chopped. And these don't have a kit in them. Just hit it and there's no uh, pimento in them. Make sure you get them like that. I'm going to cook this for about 10 minutes on low heat until everything gets uh, cooked through and incorporated. And I'll be back. Alright, my sauce is done. I left it simmer for about 10 minutes and I stayed with it and stirred it the whole while so it wouldn't decorate my stove or nothing. Now I have a pound of spaghetti here. I put just till al dente. I'm going to add that right in over the sauce. And if you're going to do this in a, a frying pan or a skillet, make sure you have a big one. And I'm just going to stir this up to incorporate everything. And if you wanted to add meat to this, you could. The original recipe doesn't call for meat. And I got a little extra sauce in here than what the recipe called for. But I like uh, extra sauce with my uh, pasta. So let's go ahead and uh, serve up a plate and see what we got. Alright, before I close this video out, I'd like to give a shout out to my son Greg's friend, Patrick Alvarez. How's it going, Pat? Alright, I'm going to finish this up by uh, topping with a little Parmesan cheese. Okay, there you have it. Putanesca. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.